Hey everyone, Eric Green, Green Junk Removal. Thanks for stopping by, taking a look here. Um, last couple videos I was talking about different ways and opportunities to make money in home services. And um, again, uh, I just, I wanna show you a little bit, little bit more of, of, the, of the truck that we're currently using right now. It's a little dirty right now. It's um, Green's Junk Removal. And we currently use a box truck, so. This is actually just my drive driveway right now. And uh, so I'm gonna flip it around here and kind of talk a little bit more about why we're using this. So there's a lot of, whew, icy. <laughs> uh, it's January right now up in the Northeast and it is really freaking cold. Um, anyway, so yeah, that a little dirty. I gotta wash that up. But I gotta say there's a lot of, debate and argument um, about what's better you know what's the best type of truck to to do a junk removal and I did a lot of research on it you know I looked into um, a trailer a dump trailer a utility trailer with high walls building high walls and a dump trailer what kind of what kind of truck that we need uh, to, to tow it and you know, I think ideally I would love a box truck that has a hydraulic lift. <laughs> That'd be phenomenal. One of the things I love about a box truck, one of my favorite things is I get to, well, number one is it's a, it's a moving billboard. Now you can get pretty large logo on other types of trucks as well. Even, even trailers, you can get pretty large signs made for, for your trailer. But you look at that, I mean, that is an actual size of a billboard. Uh, I mean, that's that's huge. And it's bright letters, so I mean, driving down there, you can't miss it. So I love that. I get a lot of phone calls just from people seeing that bright colors, simple, no crazy fancy designs. Um, you know, I don't have a list of all the services, mattress pickup, hot tub disposal, all that stuff. If you don't know what we do when you see that truck, uh, you, you know, you're not my customer. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> um, but I love this because it keeps everything in, um, inside of the truck. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to worry about things falling out uh, of the truck at all. Um, I can keep things private. You know, people don't have to see what I'm hauling. One of the things I don't like about the truck, uh, a box truck, is when you get a haul like that, it's messy, right? So this is a construction cleanup, which I really don't like doing. Um, I didn't mind doing it. There was no brick or, or concrete or anything like that, but it took me, um, no, yeah, this truck is a 14 foot box truck. So, I mean, based upon my calculations, it's basically about a 20, 20 yard truck. Um, and so there's probably about 10 yards in here right now. And it took me about one hour by myself to load all this up. Now to unload all that, you know, a lot of people say, oh man, that's, that's going to suck taking it to the dump. You know what though? Like the hardest part, honestly, is loading it. Unloading it doesn't take that long. You know, you wear gloves, the proper you know, PPE and, uh, you know, that right there is only going to take me maybe 10 minutes to unload myself. So yeah, 10 minutes, but all I do is dump it right on the ground. It doesn't take me very long. It doesn't put a lot of effort in. Yeah, I would love to, you know, I, I would love to be able to hit a button and have it just, you know, beep, 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 <laughs> you know, and dump right out. That'd be phenomenal. Um, but, you know, just for me, weighing the pros and cons. Um, the, the other thing, too, is about a box truck that I like is, man, like, basically, like, I'm probably not using the right word, but like a double axle back here. I love that, um, you know, uh, has a lot of, um, the suspension uh, is really, really, really strong. It can handle a lot of weight um, compared to, you know, uh, a trailer where the tires are smaller, um, you know, and you can get, you know, going up to the landfill with nails and stuff. Now, you can still get a flat tire with this too, um, but I just feel like you're more prone and these tires are much larger. Uh, they're, they're tougher, um, that type of thing. Um, I also like that, you know, not having a trailer, I mean, obviously when you're backing up and getting into tight spots, that causes issues as far as driving goes and getting in and out of spots, uh, customers' homes. And I like just having something that could just drive around, whiz around and not have to worry about, 
you know, right is left, left is right, and it's the reverse when you're backing up with the trailer and all this other stuff. Um, so that's what I like. I mean, again, I ideally, uh, I also like that I could fit a lot more in here than a regular, you know, even like, a, you know, I mean, this is probably maybe the size, again, this is about 20 yards, cubic yards. Um, you know, your typical uh, junk, your, your typical, um, um, I can't think of the, what I'm talking about right now, what I'm trying to say here. Your typical uh, truck, dump truck, your dump truck, not the trailer, but dump truck. Um, from what I've seen, you know, they're really, they're super expensive and, and you only get about 12 to 15 yards. And where I live is a higher dump fee than a lot of other areas. I know we're not the highest. I know certain places like in Connecticut and Washington and certain places are crazy high, like $180 a, a ton. Um, where I live, it's $90 per ton and a $50 minimum. So 50 for a half and 90 per ton which I still think is on the higher end compared to other places. I know some places in the South, I mean, you guys got like really cheap uh, dump fees, but up here it's 90 per ton. So I really want to maximize how much, how many times, um, well, I, I, I want to minimize how many times to go to the dump. So I, I want to keep, I want to get this thing as packed as possible every time I go. So that's another reason I like a box truck because I can fit a lot of stuff in there. Again, this is just my take. I know most guys don't operate out of, out of a box truck. I'm just saying it's good for me. It works for where I'm at and the pros and cons I weighed. Also, I got this truck very dirt cheap. The other thing too is with a, a trailer, especially if it's a, a dump trailer, not a utility trailer, but a dump trailer that has a lot of weight. I mean, you're gonna need at least um, you know, a, a 2,500 or 3,500 uh, you know, truck. You, you can't be getting away with like a, an F-150 or, you know, 1500. Uh, you, you just won't be able to pull it. You'll, you'll kill your, your transmission, your engine. Uh, and as you can see, this is what I have right now. This is my other, other business. Uh, we do pressure washing and gutter cleaning. This is the only, this is the biggest truck I have. Uh, it's an F-150. There's, you know, a hitch on it and stuff. And I, I just can't pull a, you know, a real, I can't pull a dump trailer, you know, maybe a five, you know, a five by eight or five by 10, but that's not big enough. So that's the other cost factor that played into my decision to get a box truck is if I got a, if I got a, um, a dump trailer, you know, a good one, at least a six by 12 or ideally a seven by 14, I'm definitely going to need like a 3,500 or at least a minimum of 2,500. And so that's, that's something that I don't have. Uh, so I'd have to buy, you know, a truck plus a trailer, you know, so even if you get something used, I mean, you're looking at, at least you know, 15, 20, you know, at least 15, 20 grand for the truck and the trailer combo <laughs> minimum. You know, the, the, the trailers around here go for, you know, you know, well, I mean, a seven by 14 goes for like eight or $9,000 brand new. Uh, it's hard to find used ones around here. Um, this truck here is a 1997, the Chevy I got for 2,800 bucks. So it was a steal. I mean, I got it. Like I had the money available. I got a face of marketplace. I had to go about two hours to get it. But as soon as I saw, I told the guy, I'm going to come down and get it. And, um, he was a contractor. He took care of it. He showed me all the paperwork. He redid the transmission. Um, he showed me pictures that he took everything apart. I mean, it's new radiator. It's got, you know, it's, it's really well taken care of for 97. And so that was like a no brainer to me for like three grand, 2,800 bucks. I mean, three grand after I pay all the taxes and stuff on it. But, um, I'm like, you know what, geez, you know, worst case scenario. I mean, like if it doesn't last me very long, I could park this bad boy somewhere downtown and, you know, someplace public or whatever, uh, pay, pay someone to let me park in one of their spots and it'd be like a free billboard, you know, I uh, guess how big it is. So anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's my take on the, on the, uh, the box truck. Again, I know there's a lot of people out there talking about the pros and cons. I just want to give my experience on, on what's been working for me. Uh, I, I, again, I like being able to, to pull up in just one one truck, throw everything in, have a lot of space, a lot of room in there. Um, I can whiz in and out of traffic easily, back into tight spots. I keep everything covered. I don't need a tarp. Um, pretty good gas mileage. I only need one unit. I don't need a you know a trailer and a, and a truck. Um, moving billboard. 
And again, the biggest thing is the unlo unloading. Everybody that talks about box trucks, the one, the people that say not to get it, it's because they don't want to unload it by hand. And I will say this is like the worst case scenario with how loose that is with the nails. That's, that's the worst that's going to be in my, I mean, I, we've done like shed removals too. We, I've demoed a shed and put it in here and it kind of does suck. But again, it still only takes maybe 15, 20 minutes with, you know, one or two people to unload it on heavy stuff. You know, the furniture and mattresses and all that stuff, big bulky stuff that takes five minutes to dump out. You know, it's very quick. Um, you know, again, loading anything, whether you're loading this or trailer is, is the hardest part because you have to get it in and organize it and so forth. But once you get up to the dump, I mean, you just dump it out. I mean, it takes two seconds, but again, that's just my opinion on it. Um, again, in a perfect world, I, th th this thing would be on hydraulics and this thing would dump out. <laughs> that would be ideal. Um, but again, let me know, comment below, let me know what are you doing? Uh, what are your thoughts on what I'm talking about? Uh, my, my points that I have. Uh, again, the only negative point that I see personally, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Um, the only negative point I see is I have to unload it by hand, which again, for me, isn't a huge negative because it doesn't take that long to do. It takes me an extra 10 minutes uh, to, to unload it. But let me know what you guys think below. What are you operating out of? And um, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, like the video and We'll talk to you soon.